guys welcome to dr burley's youtube channel i'll be taking you guys through my travel travel prep vlog and i'll be showing you how i prepared for my trip please watch and enjoy <laughs> So guys, as of two days ago, I, we had received an email saying our documents, uh, we received an email from the National Visa Center saying our documents is now at the embassy in Lagos, Nigeria, and we should prepare for our interview and get our documents and everything ready together. So here, uh, I was trying to fill up my DS-160, also create a CGI page, which I did. I was also instructed to go to GTB Bank and pay for my visa fee, get my MRV number and uh, book an appointment for my for my um, for my interview, which is what I was doing. So I bought some files so I can put um, together my documents that I'll be taking for my interview. And um, I had uh, gone to the bank to also pay my visa fee, which is about one hundred and. 13,000 something something but when you get there the bank should the bank people should also tell you how much it will cost so my um, visa type is a k1 visa which is known as a fiance visa and that was exactly what I was preparing for here I'd watched a very um, very well detailed um, YouTube uh, from a very lovely youtuber known as Pamela O there she had um, outlined um, how thing how you should arrange your documents the kind of documents you should be carrying how to prepare for your um, k1 visa interview it was a very well detailed um, k1 visa interview vlog and i had been watching that for a while here i had created the cgi page already and i was trying to put in my mrv number we asked to wait for a couple of hours after getting that to be able to book an appointment i tried booking an appointment but they said no appointments it's available so we had to get um, a travel agent to help us with that but while we were waiting for the travel agent to get us a visa date an, an interview date rather uh, I was trying to print out other documents that I'll be needing uh, book my medicals as well as book where I'll be going for my police report I needed some documents like the evidence of relationship which is where my sister was helping me print out our charts and cut them into bits so that I can put them in my file and all of that. So here I was on my way to um, Alagmon Police Station in Nikoi to do my police reports. Yeah, my driver was taking me there because I don't really know the, the place. So we did all of that, did my fingerprints and um, they took passport photograph from me cost me about 50,000 naira to do my police report. I had done it that day. I actually went on the weekend during the Saturday. So they did all my fingerprints and all of that. They told me to come back on Monday to pick it up since Saturday, the last time the police report is never around and they were supposed to do their own investigations or whatever just to make sure I was a good citizen. So I did all of that and I was heading home eventually. After that, I had also booked an appointment for my medicals for uh, the next day. But before I had done this, I had gotten an appointment date for my interview. So that, because the police report and the medicals don't last more for more than three months. So get your appointment dates before you do any of this. Okay guys, so today is the day for my medicals.
so i had booked my medicals to be done at q life family clinic uh when you go when you create a cgi page they'll tell you options of um, um hospitals that you can book your appointment for your us uh, us interview us data interview so the closest to me was um the q life family clinic in vi and here i was to do my medicals they would take they would draw blood for some tests you should also go in with your um, vaccination um, cards or history or covid 19 vaccinations and all the vaccines you had received for this they will also do an x-ray and then um, we'll give you some vaccinations that you need hey guys i just finished my medicals it was quite faster than i thought so i like i said i was quite So to kill two birds with one stone, after my medicals, I went ahead to get my passport photograph taken according to the requirements that I was told. So. Okay guys, I'm taking my passport So I took my passport photograph and I still went back to the store to buy some stationaries I also be needing to put together my some of my documents. I just wanted everything in order so when I go in for my interview and I'm being asked for a particular document, I can easily reach for it. I wanted to get everything done prim and proper so I don't waste my time, the time of the consular officer or the time of the others also waiting for their own interview. So. We're getting things together.
so i was done with my interview but i was told to provide uh, more documents and i should go to the dhl office in vi Murukola to submit my passport as well as some of the documents that i was asked to provide and mainly back to back to the embassy which i did and i was heading home from that the interview was a hectic one but it was good i was still worried because uh, i just wanted to hear you've been approved but i didn't hear that and i was asked to submit this document so so here i was on the way to the supermarket with my sister to get some things that i'll be needing for my trip not my trip my travel or my relocation rather so we went to on our way to Prince Abana's market to just get some things that I'll be needing. And I also wanted to wash my hair. So this is the next day. I was heading to Cynthiana Beauty Salon to get my hair done. I had decided to do braids. And my appointment was for 10 a.m. And this is a few minutes to 10. Going to make my hair. And I also had an appointment at 4 p.m my lashes and my brows so driving to the salon now quite early and uh, they had barely started anything so i think i was the second person to walk in there and i liked it that way because they could start my hair as quick as possible and have like a lot of people on my hair a lot of hands on my hair so you can finish very fast and i'll be able to make it down for my next appointment so right here um, they had started the hair starting it out but eventually two other people had to join in so it could be faster so guys um so i've done with my hair at cynthiana and then the next piece i'm supposed to go to is for my brows and my lashes i'm going to adora and there's a lot of traffic so i've had to call her change my appointment time I think I have to pay like an extra fee for changing of my time and coming in late but there's a lot of traffic like look at this. So guys at, the, at this point i was really late for my lashes and my brows appointments i had decided to do initially i wanted to do microblading for my brows a combo brows microblading combo brow thing but then i had watched a youtube channel watched so many things about how long it takes for the microblading to heal you're not supposed to wash your face for seven days all that process was just quite stressful for me uh, my flight was in was in four days so there was no point doing a micro bleeding that i might not be able to maintain because i like to wash my face because and i like to take a shower like twice or three times a day so please <laughs> there's no way water would not be touching my eyebrows so i opted for lamination and tinting of my brows but funny enough 
baby girl reacted to the lamination um, chemical because they had to put some things on my brows for the lamination and then after a while it started to burn i was like okay what's going on so apparently i was supposed to stay off using retinol for about four weeks before i come in for my brows but then i'd been on it for longer than that i didn't even stay for i didn't stay off it for up to a week so i reacted to it and my brows were quite sensitive i was able to laminate but i couldn't tint it anymore so i just took it that way i did my lashes and i was on my way home so guys today was for my pedicure my manicure i made my way down to tony nails no not tony nails toy nails hey, my bad i made my way down to toy nails i've known these people for a really long while this was not the location they had at the brothers building they were at they were on the second floor but they had moved to the third floor and the store was looking amazing so and why i like these people is because they always get my nails they always get the nail design and for some reason it lasts longer than so many other nails that i've had to do at other nails to other nail shops or other pedicure manicure shops but this is super amazing it's so much fun toying nails it's elevated at brothers <laughs> very close to the So I was done with my nails and I was heading to Pentebano Supermarket to buy some spice. I was about to travel and um, I needed some spice, I needed pepper, I needed cameron pepper, suya pepper, pepper soup spice. I'd initially planned to go to the uh, market, gong gong, I think either Sura market or, or Balendi market or mile 12 to get the, to buy this thing raw and they'll probably grind it for me and all of that. But at this point, I didn't even have time to do that. So I just decided to go to the and just pick up the things I can pick up. They were more expensive though, but we got to do what we got to do. Yeah, so I was done buying that and I was heading back home to just rest. I was so tired at this point. said oh that they start pick up by 11 so i should come back by 11. i didn't show them any appointment to hopefully i think the security guy was trying to ask for me to show him my appointment time and all the rest so i just used that to say 11 o'clock okay i'll be right back at 11 o'clock i didn't even want to waste time doing um oh i didn't have appointment blah 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 so i'm back to my car now i'm just sitting and waiting for when i will get when it's 11 o'clock rather so this is like 9 11 a.m so in a couple of hours i should be ready
guess what? Your girl got her passport. <laughs> oh my god, the trick. Hey, Jesus. It was just God that helped me, honestly. I got my visa packet too. And everything. Hmm. Oh my god. So we got there now. And I saw everybody just they talk, say the HR website. Don't shut down. Enough be open. <laughs> I just joined in the line. Because even if I was supposed to book, I actually cannot even book to say, okay, I want to come and pick up my appointment and pick up my visa. My visa. So, I can't book. So, they have to give us the visa. Like that. And it was so nice. It was so, ah, thank God. Even though I had to wait for, for hours. I got there about um, 8.45. And this is like 12.26. So after picking up my passport and my um, visa packet, I had returned home to do a few more packing and then to get things more organized and together if my final packing and then we were supposed to head to the mainland, so to my parents' house on the mainland, so that it's easy for me to just um, make it down to the airport the next day. So this is us driving home. Thank you guys for watching i really appreciate please don't forget to like and subscribe love you all bye